junk you buy from the auction. Um, all of it. Oh yeah, that's some fun in there. The biggest problem with online auctions is the size of stuff isn't in perspective. You know, just one little small diesel engine is humongous. Little trailer, the smallest trailer you can get, like we got a little Coleman trailer, heater, tons of hitches and stuff like that. Electric motors. I don't even know where to begin with the projects. You guys got an idea? Another little diesel engine. A generator hooked to this diesel engine. Actually, the owner said that he had that running. We have a, a Coke machine. Uh, I've done these before. I have one of these on the channel already with the venting mechanism, everything. A uh, lift cart. A Wisconsin. No, that's a Fairbanks Morse. I don't know. Looks like a Wisconsin to me. Engine, gas powered compressor, furniture dolly. Oh my gosh. Another generator uh, coupled to a military engine. A welder generator right there. Just a basic lawn edger. These are little um, cultivators. Like, the, all the engine does is spin the wheel. Kind of cool. And just tons of hitches and electric motors and just tons and tons and tons of stuff. Where to start? This one has this sickle bar has me a little curious because it is the motor the Briggs is from 1976 which and it's painted the same color as the pulleys and the wheels so it looks original but this looks like a, a tool that should be way older than that but this is also plastic which would be a 70s because if I had to guess I would have said, said this is probably from the 40s and 50s but it might be way newer than that it's odd See these a little bit better. Just these one wheel cultivator things just pull an implement. Trailer. A green Lister diesel. Oh, two green Lister diesels. They look like a little bit different model, maybe not. No? Look the same. One just has a huge generator head. The guy said he had that one running. Um, and then, co cabinet with the coin mechanism, everything, which is actually kind of rare. I've bought these before and they haven't had any of this in there. They're just kind of gutted. That's what they look like. This one's just missing an engine and a pulley. This one, both pulleys are broken off. Um, I have no idea what's wrong with that. What else did we get out? Coke machine sitting there. These weigh nothing. Those weigh like 100, 150 pounds. Dolly, no big deal. So, I started pumping on this lift table and I pumped right up, which is actually impressive. Now, uh, but now it doesn't want to go down. But that's not even all the way up. This isn't one of those Harbor Freight things. And a uh, gas powered air compressor. Like dirt, dirt cheap. Who knows? Probably junk. But 
We'll see. I took a gamble and bought a Freon R22. Feels like there might be just a little bit in there. It's an old tank. Maybe a pound or two, maybe three. Maybe, it's hard to tell. If you know that stuff, it's worth a, a fortune. And everything in here, in the trailer, I mean, hitches and jacks and pintle hitches and four jacks and I mean, casters and these are the things that tie down straps on semis and more bottle jacks. I think there's clamps, C-clamps, vice grips, somewhere in there, a bunch of wheels, hose. I think all that's like 20 bucks is everything in here. So there's value there. You just got to sort through a pile of junk to get it. In this motor right here, I thought it was an electric motor, but uh, for some reason I hook 12 volts up to it. I had to look at that for a second. I'm not sure what that is. So this tire apparently is flat and off the bead. It will probably be replaced, but for now I want to roll it around. It's called bead seal. It's like black rubber cement kind of thing. It's all rusty. This list seal it up so it doesn't just leak out and go flat in a day. There it goes. Pressure wash this little lift table makes a world of difference. Change the oil for the hydraulics, and it works beautifully. Uh, about four feet tall. That's how high it lifts. Little generator there, Hobart Champ generator welder. Might be a fun project. Is there anything you guys want to see? Except for I'm missing some stuff like the air filter housing. Dang it. Twin cylinder military engine. Probably extremely low hours and a uh, kind of a universal generator attached to it. 5,000 watts it looks like. Not bad. That should be a fun little project. Hey, how many Chick-fil-A sandwiches are you making you? Five? You checking them out? Making sure they're doing a good job in there? Looks like they're slacking. You need a sandwich, huh? You want a sandwich now. Give me a sandwich. Want one? Two. Pickles? No pickles, what do you think? No pickles? Okay, no pickles it is. Leave it. Leave it. No, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, get it. There we go, one bite. Chicken sandwich, one bite.